Hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial for the STD rapid test kit of Hepatitis B. We're going to do this procedure now and carry it out step by step and hopefully this will help you. This is the pouch, this is the entire test, all the parts are included here and this is all you'll need. I'll start off by opening the pouch and take it out. Now, of course, this is just the plastic bag. You don't need that. You can just dispose of them. These are all the parts. Here you have uh, your user manual. When you fold it out, you can see you can read our material of the test. You can also use this video as a reference. Put that to one side. This is the pouch containing the test cassette itself, the one showing you the result. Um, it also has a micro pipette inside of it. This is an alcohol prep pad which is used to sterilize your finger before you carry out the test. This is the dilution liquid. It's the chemical that reacts with your blood and then provides you with the final result, so to speak. And that's just the lancet. The lancet is the one you use to prick your finger. So let's just get started and show you how to carry out this test. I'll start off by opening the pouch containing the test cassette itself. Take it out. Throw this. This is just desiccate. It's for storage purposes only. It keeps the test dry and you can just throw it away as soon as you open it. Here we go. Get rid of the trash. So. The first thing I'll do, I'll take the alcohol prep pad, tear it open, and I'll clean my fingertip. I'm going to prick my right fingertip in this case. Make sure it's clean. Take the lancet, you see this? Now you push this green knob in, and it might have a different color in the test that you received, so push it in. Then you twist it a couple of times, then you pull it out. So the lancet is loaded and we can use it. I'm going to place this against my right fingertip and then push. So I'm done with this and you just throw it. It's just a minor puncture. It doesn't really hurt at all. It's just in order to get the blood out of the finger. So as you can see, I punctured my right finger and there's already a little bit of blood coming out. I'm just going to squeeze my finger here gently. So all you need is one or two drops of blood. In this case, I'm going to do two drops or one half. That'll suffice. You got one drop here. Take the micro pipette. Use that one. You're going to insert that into the sample well. There we go. Let's see if we can get some more blood out of here. This can be a little tedious and can take a while sometimes because it's hard to get the blood out when you're not... Uh, uh, that's enough. I'm going to take my alcohol prep pad and I'm going to clean my finger to get rid of the blood. I'm done with this. I'm just going to throw it away. And what you need now is two drops of dilution liquid. Just twist the pink cap off. There you go. You place it in the sample well. It's the exact same place that we placed the blood in the first place. Let's see. That's one drop. 
two drops. And we're done. Just wait for the result. So, I know it can be hard to see in this video, but here on the test cassette, first of all, you have the sample well, the one I just showed you. You also have the letter here called the C, and then there's the T right there. Now the C stands for the control line, while the T stands for the test line. As long as the control line shows up, that means that you have a working test. If it's a negative result, only the control line will show up. Then first of all, it will tell you that the test works, and then secondly, it will tell you that you have a negative result. Now if a line shows up next to the T as well as next to the C, that means that you have a positive result for hepatitis B. I can't emphasize this enough, but if you do receive a positive result taking this home test, it is very, very important that you seek out a licensed doctor as soon as possible. Hepatitis B can in some cases be life-threatening. It's a nasty disease and it needs to be taken care of properly. Also, be aware that doctors will treat all the information that you give them with 100% confidentiality. In other words, they will not tell anyone else that you visited them. We have a website listed at the bottom of this tutorial video, www.stdrapidtestkits.com, and you can buy a rapid test kit for hepatitis B. We thank you very much for watching this tutorial video, and we wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions, feel free to email us. Thank you, and goodbye.